Hello and welcome to day two of my Cardiff vlog. You join me in the Ibis Budget Hotel after the worst night's sleep ever. Anyway, today's going to be brilliant. The sun has come out for now and I'm off to the Doctor Who Experience or this if you speak Welsh. And I'm also going to be meeting up with fellow YouTuber Tom Dix from Epic Who. So I'm really excited to see him again. And after the experience we're going to go and find some of the locations used in Torchwood and Doctor Who. So it's going to be a fun packed day. Let's get cracking! Does this look alright? Not too much TARDIS going on, is there? A TARDIS within a TARDIS. It's Legopolis all over again. So here I am on the Mermaid Quay, Torchwood there, Millennium Centre. I have always wanted to come here because of course it features so prominently in Torchwood and Doctor Who and you guys know I love my locations um, and it, it hasn't disappointed. It just feels brilliant to be here. And do you know what's strange? Walking through here, I can hear Mary Gold's music playing in my head. Do, 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 do. There's the restaurant where the doctor had a meal with Margaret Slovene in Boomtown. Right, it's time to go to the doctor experience and meet that pesky Tom Dix. Oh, getting close. And look, there's a TARDIS over there. So we're here, our Doctor Experience. I can see various monsters behind that screen, but I haven't found Tom yet. Here he is, Hello. Tom Dix, right. Epic Who. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Paul. How are you doing? I'm alright. I just ran here, I'm dying. Oh, yeah, he was just yeah. like telling me off. He's like, "Yours, stop filming. We're going to be late. Tom's going to be waiting." And I was like, oh, "I'm really on for it." Oh, you should have yeah. seen me. Was, oh god. Brilliant, we're here. Angels. Oh, Tom Dick. There's a leg of dark over there. Yeah, but oh, yeah, I'm going over there. Yeah. And Lego Dalek. The most evil of them all. Eric Roberts there, is he the, the best master? No. 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 <laughs> Leah would say different. Yeah, Leah loves Eric Roberts. He does like to dress for the occasion though, and I do love that line. So, just come out of the interactive bit, first bit of the experience. It's really good actually, and if you don't want to know what's in it, just put your fingers in your ears for a second. But it's really cool, you walk onto the 11th Doctor's TARDIS console. Uh, you sort of get to move it around a bit and then you go through a forest of weeping angels and then come out into the junkyard set and um, it's just really fun yeah it's just really really cool yeah. lots of dialects coming at you as well it's really atmospheric as well which is nice like you go on into, you go in the forest and it's just cold and it just it's chilling it's yeah gray. it's not quite as cold as the castle yesterday but it's pretty <laughs> damn near um, and it's really good then then there's like a little 3d bit at the end with Weeping Angels coming at you and Daleks and stuff and it's yeah it's just really well done, really really good start to it. Right, let's see what we've got out here then. I love this console room, I absolutely adore it. Oh. I 
I've got to tell you, the first time I saw this console, I thought it looked so futuristic and oh, I love it too. Bessie! K9! You don't. I love cyber shades. I want them back. They, <laughs> oh, I honestly, I think if they had a decent story, they could work really well. Cyber like shades. A gothic story with them in. I still love the eighties. I like what? Is that the one that the mouth comes down when you start speaking? Where you can see the mouth. You can see it. Yeah, you can see. That's my favourite. Yeah. Looking in the direction you're going. <laughs> The face of Bo or Captain Jack. You always feel sorry for Bo, why is that? Because of his eye. Oh, because of his eye? Yeah, if you just stand it on. Oh, yeah. It's upsetting to oh, see. Oh, we will meet again <laughs> will for the Bo third right time of the last time. Oh, poor old Bo. Look who's over here. I only watched New Earth the other day and I actually enjoyed it more. Oh, no. I used to. Oh. And I don't know why. Oh, Skybox Blitzer. I think that's a really nice design. I like it actually. There's Old River. I remember loving the look of these and yet it turned out to be one of the most disappointing episodes ever but I think they look great. <gasps> Two Davroses, eh? I've only got one thing to say to this. Unlimited rice pudding! Oh, uh, the K1 robot, he's brilliant. I still think he looks awesome. Looks like the most uncomfortable costume ever. I can't imagine one oh, it's good. I'm it's just wondering, is that it. the original costume? Because it does look a bit yes. moth ridden. Original. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like it's in better days, poor old thing. Oh, the Melka. Yeah, it's one, of, it's one of the earliest things I can ever remember seeing is this statue. This is nice. Tom, what episode is it that they had all these? pictures on this board. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> Let's see what they had then. So Susan, Polly. It's really nice to actually oh, go up right. and actually read what they've written about them as well. Oh, it's great, isn't it? I'll tell you, here's a companion that I really like and sadly not much of his stuff exists. Ben. It's really good to actually see which boats they did because you, you kind of only get a glimpse of it in the episode, don't you? It's like they've got the leader quite clever, new little of technology. I just like them little things that they've written about them. Oh, it's the costume. So, who's, who's the best Doctor outfit then? We've got 11, 10. Nines always looks so boring when you see it in the flesh, doesn't it? But it looks it looks good on, on Chris. I love this one. Yeah. Well, what? War Doctor? Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. I thought you were pointing to 8, but I couldn't. I quite like that one as well, to be fair. Yes. Quite... What about Sylvester's? Could you see yourself? I can't see myself sorting that, personally. I've got that jumper, but I, I very rarely wear it. <laughs> Do you know what? As a kid, I loved that blimmin' Six Doctors game. I quite like it. What I don't like on the buttons, it's bare. Oh, I never even noticed that I don't before. like that. Oh, I kind of have a fondness for it. Peter and Tom's. Which Sonic do you like the best? Uh, I like the thirds. I think it's the tenth, ninth, and tenth doctor's my favourite. No, because it's so simplistic. That's I my favourite. I would have said the eleventh doctor, but it just got overused. Oh god, yeah. Okay, 
Yesterday, <laughs> you will have known that I was moaning because they didn't have that. They have it here now. Actually, looks really nice. It is smaller than I thought. Like I thought, it looked a bit clumsy to be carrying around, but it's really nice actually. Doctor's brown velvet jacket. I love it. I hope he wears that in series ten. It's very stylish. Oh, I just can't stop looking at the new Sonic either. Can't beat a big red button. There are so many TARDISes or TARDIS. How do you say it? TARDIS. TARDIS. There's so well, many TARDIS. Yeah, so. Look, there's one over there as well, and they're everywhere. There's always as many TARDISes as Daleks. Fax again. There he is the Emperor Dalek and the yellow, what's he called? Thernal, isn't it? Thernal Dalek, something like that. I've got to say, I love the design of the Special Weapons Dalek. And I know he's waiting for us in here. How's he looking? He wasn't well last time. <laughs> Talking of poorly, what's happened to this poor Dalek side? Oh no. He's a lot taller than I was expecting. Oh, Clara, I like her little blue diner thingy. <laughs> Sad. Sad. Sad times. No, because she, she did get to disappear in the yeah, CGI diner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... But still, yeah. it's sad. We like the dress, just not the CGI diner. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Tom have been naming the playing name the tune, and of course I've been getting all the eighties ones. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we've been playing them, isn't it? It is, yeah. Do you I, know this one? Is it from the Seventh Doctor's era? It's Seventh Doctor era, half point. I don't know the actual th story. I think it's Curse oh, of Fenric. I was totally going to say that. Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> right, <laughs> I'm leaving you guys for an hour. Yes. Because I'm about to do the TARDIS set tour. So bye bye. Okay, so we're just walking over to the TARDIS, got my location lanyard. Okay, we're about to go in, I think. Once inside the studio, we got split into two groups. The first group got to go inside the TARDIS set, while the rest of us got to watch a Dalek being dissected. So here we are in studio number four. It's by far the biggest studio we have here at Roflop. Um, and honestly, it's because of that TARDIS set just behind you. Uh, and we also have the ears here. Here we go. So this is the head. Um, you can see there are three wheels in a triangular formation that will simply rest on the neck piece. Uh, but moving back to this here, this is the neck piece of the Dalek. This is what the operator will see out of. So if I just wave my hand in here, can you see my hand? That's about as much visibility as the Dalek operator will have. So not very much. Um, so this is what they'll see out of. If I can lift this up as well. Can you still free? Just lower your expectations now. Um, they pretty much decided what they wanted in 1963 and haven't really updated it since. Right, 
time to go to the TARDIS interior. Without doing the picture where you're half open door popping out of it. Well, we've got time for that. Here we go, guys. <laughs> oh, you're not coming with me? <laughs> oh, it's good. So there's the console, the TARDIS. And the ladies just pointed out there's a Rembrandt picture up there. I don't know if you can see it, which has always been in here apparently, but um, I've never noticed it in the show itself. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out for that in the background of the TARDIS. So, like, yeah, it, 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 it like passes it. Yeah. Yeah, they never reference it. This is so surreal and amazing being on the TARDIS. I, I just love it. Wow, this is amazing. We got to spend about 10 to 15 minutes wandering around the set and although the time went fast it felt incredible being in there. This was a definite highlight of the experience. Is that where you disappeared? That's where it disappeared, I saw that. It's <laughs> really nice. Right, we are heading to the shops. Look who's already here. <laughs> spending more money. Yeah. I'm not spending Goodness, I can feel my wallet itching already. I really need this in my bedroom. How much is it? I would love that. Great, I'm gonna come and see it one day. Just collected my little merchandise pack that I bought with my ticket. We'll have a look through it later. But first. Let's have a look at the shop. I just said someone say my name down. Like, oh. oh, Tom. Yeah, I've got that. You've got it. I've got it. Oh, I yeah, want that. That's $14.99 for the car. I like it, but just can I carry it around? Loads of books and magazines. Have you got any of these comics? I've got some of them, but then I missed because I was getting it with the UK version and I missed some of it and I just couldn't be bothered to go back to it. Siege Mode TARDIS, I really want that. And I would love to get these. The little cap badge and the little paint badge and the stick of celery. <laughs> we are leaving the shop at last. Nice mural on the wall. And I've secretly bought something. Because <laughs> my other half said I wasn't allowed to spend any more money. Um, I'm just going to show you the step. Because I haven't got anything six stop to relate it. There we go, it's focused. I bought the cat badge. I don't know why, but I love it. So I'm just gonna hide that from my other half and hope that he doesn't watch the video. So that was the doctor experience. Well, bye bye. Got Yanto Shrine to go to now. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, we've definitely got to go find Yanto Shrine. And Tom will probably be back here again next week. Probably, well, I will be by my Series 9 box set. Oh yeah, you will be. <laughs> so lucky being so close. Whereas I probably won't see you for a long time, so bye-bye. <laughs> Very exciting moment. We are about to see Yanto Shrine. 
a big rip than other things. <laughs> this is so <laughs> surreal. I I can't quite believe it. We were just saying as well, like people must come here and think someone's actually died. There it is. I feel I should have brought something. Anti shrine. I'm lost for words. I'm absolutely lost for words. Let's have a closer look and see what we've got. Some nice fan art there. Oh look. You see this figure? Yeah, this they do. Some of this is a bit. The well. mm. Let's move along. Let me know if you spot anything. What's this? Merry Christmas. Okay. There's that figure again. It's the Anto figure. I like this. Tom likes it. Like... Shirt or? Oh yeah. Underwear. I don't even know what that is. Oh, that is. That's the knickers. Oh my goodness. They're bigger than I imagined. Maybe a pair of knickers. I like that photo. That's a great shot. I'd love to get a side picture. Oh, wow, 2013. Yeah, they've even got this a lot flat. Alright. Here it is, Eddie's Diner. We're going in. I'm so excited. I've been dying to go here. So here we are, Eddie's Diner. Uh, obviously, this featured in the Impossible Astronaut, and also Hell Bent, wasn't it? Yes, the last one in Series Nine. Uh, Wanted to come here for ages, and it's brilliant. Cheers. So Tom, we're in Eddie's Diner. I'm going to ask, which do you prefer, the Impossible Astronaut or was, it's Hell Bent, wasn't Hell it? Bent. Oh well, actually, I've just realised I know the answer. Impossible Astronaut. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a fan of Hell Bent. Actually, I prefer the episode of Splash now, but I prefer the scene in Hellbent just because of that guitar scene. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good answer. answer. Good answer. We wanted to be on table 11, which is back there, but somebody's on it. <laughs> I love Eddie's Diner, it's a really quirky place and they've even got a TARDIS storeroom out the back. Tom, what has just happened? Okay, we were on table like 15 or 13, we are now on table 11. It's the best table, it's, it's amazing. And on the actual table that Matt sat at. Table 11. Alright guys, I'm just uh, off down into the top to tunnel. Ready? This is my morning home experience. Seriously. Yeah. So here we are in the Millennium Centre. Centre. <laughs> you know what this place needs, don't you? A little shop. This place needs a little shop. There is the flat that Rose and Clara live in. Been looking for it all day, walked past it about 10 times. Never asked, but there it is, all the way over there. And so after a brilliant day, it was time to say goodbye to Tom. So back in the good old Ibis now, and I thought I'd show you what I got in my Doctor Who Experience merchandise pack. So in my official companion bag, I got the Doctor Who Experience t-shirt which is really quite nice actually, I like that, it's pretty colourful. Um, certificate saying that I hereby decree that I'm an official companion signed by the Doctor. Uh, souvenir ticket, got Magpie electricals on it, that's quite nice. This official companion's TARDIS key with the Doctor experience on it, it's quite nice as well. I oh, don't know what this thing is, some sort of bracelet. <laughs> um, but this is nice, the Doctor experience. Uh, official companion guide which has got some really good stuff in it really nice pictures of Strax, Cybermen, Davros, everything you can think of really all the doctors all the different TARDISes, TARDIS I, I don't know how you say it uh, yeah so that's really really nice as well so quite a nice little pack 
have to say, I really did enjoy today. We managed to pack quite a lot in. I am, of course, absolutely shattered. I'm really hoping I'll get a better night's sleep tonight because tomorrow it's the Cardiff Comic Con and I'll be meeting up with Tom again. So I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, until then, I'll bid you all a very good night. Bye-bye, guys.